Personally, editing video in Canva was something I was never a fan of because Canva wasn't up to par with most of the professional editing tools out there. But wait, has Canva pulled up a surprise and as in has Canva really leveled up when it comes to video editing? I must say that, no, wait, before I actually answer this question, there's something I made in Canva and I would want you to take a look at it. I'll be right back. You can't manage this, can't break this boy, I'm funky, huh? Gotta keep my dishes when you not 100, huh? From the same one say they love you late and funny, huh? You can't match my energy and yeah, you know it, huh? Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here. I'm one of the few verified Canva experts here in Africa. In this video, I'll be walking you through how you can use the various video editing features in Canva to edit any video of your choice. So if you are interested in this and you're also new to the channel, I would highly encourage you to smash on the subscribe button because this is the best channel you can learn anything about Canva. And if you're an OG, I also salute you for the continued support. I am so grateful. Let's jump straight into it. So from the video I showed you in the beginning, I'm sure you are now having a whole idea about how Canva is making things possible when it comes to video editing. And from my experience in video editing, I can confidently say that you can now edit videos 100% inside of Canva. Are you silly, silly? First of all, because of the elements timing feature Canva introduced plus other video editing features in Canva which we'll be taking a look at. And before we even dive into Canva to look at everything we have to look at, this is what I have to say about video editing. Video editing in its most basic form has to do with placing various elements in a particular time or in a specific location in a video which is also known as timing or even cutting, you understand? And if you are like me and you enjoy working in Canva, let me just take this time to walk you through every single thing you need to know on how to edit videos inside of Canva. So you can see this is what we made earlier and this is the whole workspace, you understand? But let's start afresh. So for my homepage, I just have to locate the kit a design button, then search for video. When I click on it, Canva should create a blank canvas for us so that we can be able to start with all our video editing, you understand? Okay, so before we create any video, there are a few things you need to have in mind or there are a few things we'll need the first thing is you need your video and the second thing is you need a background audio to be able to add some vibes to your video and once you have these two things you can edit your video according to your liking and preference okay so let's take a look at what we can do so i'll just come into videos and i'll search for any video of my choice and in this case i'll still go with the dance video i use okay then i right click and set the video as background so you can see we have the video over here i think okay i can't stretch it but i can reduce the duration of the video because the length of the video is 13 seconds okay so once we have this we can also add multiple video so i can just click on the plus and you know choose any secondary video at all right click and set the video as background and you can get more of these videos by just searching so all i did was i came and searched for dance video okay so once you search you should find a lot of videos in there you understand but um you actually have to take your time to scroll through to find um, appropriate videos or any video at all you actually want to use okay so what i'll do is i'll just close this and i would go to my recently used because this is where i'll see most of the videos i use okay so you can see here they are so i can just click on the plus um, icon so that i can be able to add a new video select it right click and set the video as background so this is the first thing we have done being able to select our videos adding them on our timeline and even most importantly adding multiple videos because what's the importance of editing videos when you can't add multiple videos to your timeline okay so let's dive back okay so now that we have our videos here you know i would also want us to add our audio because these videos come with no audio so if you play it you're actually not going to hear anything at all okay so to be able to make this video come alive you need to add some sort of audio to it okay so i'll just come to audio and in audio you can choose any of the audios of your choice but one amazing thing i love about canva is now you can be able to upload your custom audios to canva and that's one of the things i did i uploaded my own audio inside of canva okay so i'll just have to go into my uploads and in uploads i just have to locate audio when i come here 
I should see this audio over here. So I can just click and drag it in here. So you can see where our audio has been added. So I'll just click and drag it. You see it's not possible at the moment. So I'll just click it and drag it. Okay, so you can see now we have our audio over here. So if I play, this is it. So you can see that it takes a long time for the actual audio to start and i don't want you know it to take so much time so this is what we can do to be able to trim the audio okay so i can double click on the audio and just you know drag it so that i just wanted to start you know with some strong beats so let's see uh, uh, uh. So that's how to edit your audio especially in camera but that's not all we'll look at some of the other things we can do but one of the most important thing in video editing is splitting or cutting how we may call it and how is this possible in canva let me show you how you can be able to do this in canva so let's say i just wanted a few sections of my video to play okay once i click on uh, uh. so i want a cut to happen over here because a striking beat happens okay so how do we make the cut all you can do is you can right click you know at this section and you see split page or you can simply press s on your keyboard to make a cut okay then i can just maybe come over here also and just cut anything okay so i'll just click and split then i can drag it and bring this over here so when we play this is what's going to happen so you see how this works it's very easy and very simple splitting your audio helps you to just you know have your video in shorter format so that you can be able to move them around your timeline and this helps you to have a flexible experience when you are editing your videos okay so what i would want to do next is i would just you know maybe scroll to this part of it okay and maybe choose any other part so i can just right click choose split and bring it in here okay but i would want a striking part of the audio to hit before a change happens so let's split and see okay so you can see what happens let's say we wanted to zoom in on this timeline what we can we do click on the zoom page over here then it switches to that um, video timeline or thumbnails okay then i can stretch it out so you can see where the striking bit happens so i want it to happen over here so i can just click on this okay so click on the video just trim it a little bit so that you can be able to have the transition over here with the beat okay so you know this part also i just do this so that it moves you know with the beat so in this case i'm editing according to the beat of the audio okay and that's one way to edit your videos you understand so let's play it and um, we'll just move to the next step So you can see, you know, <laughs> already I'm loving this so much. So this is how I was able to cut between the scenes and all that. So now let's see how you can be able to adjust the audio speed of some part of your clips because at certain point, depending on the type of video you're editing, you need some sort of like slow motion to be happening. So let's see how you can do this in Canva. Okay, so I would um, scroll. Okay, let's let's start all over. Let's play because I'm just enjoying this. Uh -huh. okay so at this point okay where he gives the fist i want it to be slow okay so i would press s on my keyboard to split and um you know okay and i think i would also split this section also so click on the video and come to playback okay and in playback you see we have video speed if you move it to 1.5 it means that the video is going to move so quickly okay but to slow it down you either have to reduce it okay so maybe 0 0.75 and let's see how it looks okay so you can see it slow down but not too much okay but let me just slow it down more so that we can actually see it in action so i'll just drag my time handle over here and you can see yeah so that's how you can slow down your video inside of canva okay 
So let's play it again and let's see how the whole thing will look like. Um. Okay, so only if you took your time or only if you were paying attention, you'd realize that you know the slow motion was more obvious now. So now that you can do this in Canva, now let's see how we can add text because from the video I showed you in the beginning, you'd realize that certain parts of the video has some text popping in and out. And let's see how this can be done inside of Canva. Okay, so I would just want to play the video from the beginning, okay, and then take notice of some of the words and just add the text, okay. Okay, so let's use this part where it says you can match my energy, match my energy, you can match my energy, you know, it's so fast. So let's see how we can be able to do that. Okay, so I will first of all press T on my keyboard to add any text and I'll just, you know, type my text to so match. Okay, and let me make a bigger position this year, duplicate it and I'll say my, okay, then I can duplicate this again and say energy. Okay, so. I would just select all my text and I'll edit my text. So I love to use the poppins because of how bold it looks. Okay, so maybe let me just put all of them here and um, you know make it bigger. So you can match my energy. You get it. So energy. <laughs> uh -huh. So it happens from here. So let me just click and see. You can match my energy. So I'll select all three texts. Right click and you should see show timing okay because we selected all the text together they have all been grouped so to split them up we'll just click on this arrow over here so you can see you can match my energy so this is the match and this should be my and energy okay so now let's play the audio and let's see okay so the match starts from here you can match my energy okay so match should here and since it's so close i can just bring the mind somewhere here because uh, you know the words are so fast and energy can be so here so let's see okay i think i yeah match my energy okay so the n the n starts from here you know so you can match my energy energy and okay so this is how i was able to do that but we can also break down the energy energy but but i'm just sure you have a basic understanding of what we are doing so far you understand so that's how i was able to do that you can match my energy and uh, 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 uh -huh. so it says and you know it uh uh okay so let me just put this here let me you know so that they all disappear at the same time okay so and, and you know it uh uh okay so let's come here then we'll duplicate the energy okay and we'll say the uh uh okay so yeah uh so you uh-huh right all right so i'll click and drag this here okay and let's play to see okay so you know what uh i think it starts from here okay then i'll select it and make it bigger okay because it's uh you know they all strike so much you, know uh, uh. you see uh -huh. so i i'm just sure you are getting what you i'm doing it, uh. Uh. you see how it's done look this is so beautiful and one way to be able to get more comfortable editing you just have to try it out as you know you are watching this video i hope you also have your canva open and try it out because that's the best way you can get so comfortable editing inside of canva Okay, so let's just play the section again. Okay, so yeah, we've, we've been able to do it. So let's say we want to end our video. Okay, how do we end it when the audio is still like very high and you know, so energetic? There's a way to be able to do it. And the way of doing it is by fading your audio. So let me show you how to get this done inside of Canva. Okay, so I will just come to the latter part. Okay, click on the audio and maybe trim the video to this point. Okay, so let's say we're playing it. Okay, so what I can do is I can click on the audio and come to audio effect. And you can see fade out. So once I use the fade out, you should see that you know something interesting is happening to the audio. Just take a look. You can see something interesting is happening to the audio. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's how to fade it out. And I can also do this. I can split this part of the video. Okay. So I right click and split. Okay. Then what I can do is I'll select this video, come to playback and also slow down this part of the video because we are ending. You understand? And um, let me just drag this to this part. Okay. So this is how it will look. Ah, ah, ah.
nice 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 i hope you found this helpful so these are the basic tips i used to be able to edit what i showed you earlier and i hope you found this video helpful if you did kindly smash the like button to show some support and if you have any questions on this video leave it in the comment section okay below and what i'll do is i'll answer you but if i feel your comment or your question deserves another video i'll make another video of it the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video best okay. in my job that includes whipping and keeping the recipes uh, i cannot stop i gotta get it to legends are next to me uh, to legends are next to me hey please do not text to me uh, i'm trying to get it uh, working